Hmm. Everyone can hear me? Yep. Uh, Paul, nice to see everyone Tuesday afternoon. Today we were involved with a recovery group. Is anybody new here? So we, do we need to introduce something? No? Hi, Judy. I'm new to this group. Oh, Judy. Yeah, we know you, Judy, though. Okay, we thank you. That. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we were talking at this recovery thing. And um, a lady was speaking about uh, being filled with rage and stuff like that. And it was, it was a very good moment to uh, share the understanding that the rage, let's say, or rage is happening, but there's no one who's doing it or having it. Yes. Because that same process of negation is ongoing in the mental state as an affirmation. So when there's rage, it affirms there's someone who has the rage. Yes. When people are feeling like they're going crazy, they're going crazy affirms that there's a person going crazy which is, and this person, and then crazy, is a dualistic uh, theme, yes, or interpretation. There's the rage, and the one who has the rage. That would be two, yes? Something called rage, someone who has the rage. And then the someone who wants, who has the rage, wants to get out of the rage which is just a reinforcing of the one that had the rage. There's going to be the one who gets out of the rage. Yeah, that's two. Yes or no? What's non-duality? Non-duality isn't emptiness. It isn't nothing. It isn't one. It's a negation of two. That's all it is. Non-duality. There is no thing called non-duality. It's a pointer. No, not two. So when there's rage, there's not a someone who has the rage. Yeah. But this is what the mental state does. Whatever's happening, it claims that happening to infer or to point to either the one being done by the happening or the one that's doing the happening. Yes. So there's an activity called happening. And then there's a dualistic interpretation. The happening definitely implies or means or is a definite pointer that there's someone that's involved with the happening, either being done to by it or doing it. Yeah, that's two. Two. Non-duality negating two. Nothing called non-duality. No. Non-duality is negation of two. That's all. There's nothing called non-duality. You cannot be at a non-duality meaning. <laughs> this is a duality meaning, basically. And then we're attempting, we're just sharing and understanding that prior to negation, there's a mental affirmation. The mental state, with anything that's happening, it uses the happening to affirm that there's a someone either doing doing it or done to by it that's an affirmation what we're looking at is a negation of that yeah the negation of what is concluded by that affirmation that there's a someone it doesn't matter the rage or not the rage is going to come and go but the someone is going to be given life it's going to be given extension in time there's going to be a feeling of being the one that was before the rage during the rage and actually after the rage. Yeah, that's made up. Don't believe me. Supposedly, Lord Buddha said, I don't know, I wasn't there to hear it, but 
Lord Buddha supposedly said, events happen. But say the event of rage happens. Deeds are done. Yeah, there's a, trying to get out of the rage. Yet there's no individual doer thereof. There's no individual doer of the rage, and there's no individual doer of the escape from the rage. And there's no, there's no individual doer of the one captured by the rage. That's what non-duality is a negation. That's what it's negating. Yeah? So obviously, with the language, as soon as someone says something, rage, it's either, or let's say money, it's either mine or yours. Yeah? <laughs> There's always this affirming, 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 affirming. It's so, it's been such a habit, we don't even see it, do we? Yeah, it's just natural to think rage, I had the rage, I'm having the rage, I want to get out of the rage, yeah? So we're attempting to negate that, and that's all, really. Because while they're in duality, in a sense, if there's an affirmation going on, that's not life-affirming, that's not living, that's not awakeness, yeah? Then we need to negate that, obviously. There's not a we, there's a negating of that. That's non-duality. Non-duality is negating the false affirmation, the false premise, the false iconicry, whatever you want to call it, that false everything, yes? Made of two-ness. So path, the one who's on the path, being out, negation, yeah? Path can go on, but there's no one on the path. Don't you think you would travel much, much more leisurely on a path if there wasn't anyone on it? Of course you would. Yeah. But if, if you don't care if someone else is on it, they can. But you, if you're on it, Jesus Christ, so much weight and meaning is given to it. Yeah. You can't get out of it as it. You can't. You can't get out of it as it. You are the epitome of traveling heavy. <laughs> you are is not going to travel light. <laughs> There's a traveling lighter, a lightness from you, not as you. <laughs> so the mental state claims what's happening. Yes, to say there's a someone. Why not just, and what non-duality is a negation of that claiming. That's all. It's just saying, yes, there's a claiming, but there's nothing happens. There's just claiming. It's just constantly saying it's so, but it doesn't make it so. Yeah. It's constantly saying there can't be a verb without a noun. That's not true. There's tons of verbing going on. Yeah. It says a lot of stuff. <laughs> That's not true. Yeah. See, the trip is, the trip is when you negate that affirmation, the affirmation is going to say it's negating the affirmation. Yeah. You need an understanding. Wear these glasses occasionally. Yeah. See what's going on. You don't have to keep seeing it all the time. All you got to do is see it's objective and not cosign it in a sense, yeah, by recognizing something, yeah? How can I be seeing me? It must be a me that's manufactured as me, and where I'm seeing it from or how I'm seeing it is what I am. Now, I can't define me. I can't name me. I can't form me, but I can be it, yeah? I am being it. How am, is that being demonstrated? An awareness that seems to not to have an off switch, yeah? It's just on, yeah? You're here dreaming in the night, you're here, here, you're there, da do da 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 You're in rage, you're here, out of rage, you're here. You know, before rage, you're here, after rage, you're here. Everything comes and goes through us. Yeah? We don't come and go. Yeah. So what's happening, the mental state claims it. 
and it uses it. The doing is used to point to the doer. And it's a very efficient system because there's only, every doing is going to be used to point to the one doer. It's not going to point to millions of doers, usually. It's usually the one doer, yeah? The one feeler, the one taster, the one seer, the one thinker, yeah? So it's very economical. It's been in this chant, it's been, it's been chanting this mantra for quite a while, yes? We're here to put in a little throw a wrench in the works and see exactly rage and then see how the rage is claimed to point to Paul who, who's always raging. He's, he's actually a very angry person, whatever. It, a whole fucking story gets built, yes? And then you're saddled with it, and then you want to throw it off. But the problem is, there isn't you. There's just the saddle. There's no horse. You see the saddle, and you immediately play take the role of the horse. Yeah? This is mechanical. Rhoda is not doing it. Paul is not doing it. No one is doing it. There's just doing it. Yes? It's like clockwork. Anything you come in contact with, it's going to take a half a second or something, but the head is going to pronounce that contact definitely once again verifies there's a Paul who's in contact. That's what it does. It's not, it's not volitional or mechanical. You don't, why wait for it to stop? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you, are, you are all that you are while it's going on. Yeah, it doesn't eclipse shit. It can eclipse it if we get convinced, yeah? If we take ourselves to be the, the, the one that's laying on the beach instead of next inside, you know, where the sun is, that cloud can seemingly block us off from the sunlight based on our position, not the cloud's position. If we're on the sun side, we'll see the same cloud, but it won't have the ability to block us off. Yeah. If you see what's happening from the the seeing the, the verb of seeing, you won't have to try to get out or get into the noun. You'll recognize it. Yeah. That's not you. And you'll travel lighter seemingly as it by not being it. And it's not like, I made a Herculean effort not to be it. You're not it. <laughs> it's You were when you were a little baby. You grew into this freaking crazy idea. Yeah. You don't understand. You're, you're at a plate. You're at a temple and the chanting's going on all day. This is a temple of I, me, my. It's just chanting all fucking day. Yeah. Now you got to throw something in the works a little bit maybe. Hey, wait a minute. All right, yeah, I feel rage, but who's the feeler of the rage? Yeah? When have you looked that direction? So, yeah. Non-duality, <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm not a non-duality meaning. They have great pastries. Yeah. Some nice coffee. <laughs> it doesn't matter if they had a full blown dinner menu. There's no non duality meaning. <laughs> this is a duality meaning. We're attempting to come up with an understanding about what we're not in the hopes that we'll see it as not us. Yeah. And what will happen? I don't know. Find out. Maybe you'll lose interest in trying to discover what you are because you are it. Maybe you'll stop <laughs> putting Nikon lenses on that brownie camera. Yeah. Maybe you'll just, you won't spend another second looking for what can't be found. It's just that simple because it can't be lost. Yeah. <laughs> There's the message, you know, it's, I could be doing this for 20 years and it's not going to change. 
because there's nothing new in non-duality. Non-duality is just the negation of duality. There's nothing called non-duality. There's nothing, it's where? Is it in Colorado? Is it in Novato, California? <laughs> it's a negation of something that's going on that when it's going on, it implies a whole lot that's not true. Yeah. Put it to the test. All right, well, anyone have any questions today? On duality, understanding, two-ness from what we are, instead of trying to understand what we are from two-ness, please. You're not going to get it. You're not going to turn in... You're just going to manufacture a, a mythical oneness that the two-ness is going to arrive at. Yeah, no. There's zero. Zero is the final. Yeah, she better jump in and stop me. Inca. Inca. So, hi, Paul. Um, earlier you said how we dip into non-duality, out of duality. And what I'm wondering is, so there is a, in a sense, there is a progression possible in the sense that if I start and begin to experience non-duality, I mean, I can sit here and, and I can close my eyes and I can visualize, you know, one of those pop-up books that, that kids have, you know? Yeah. And, and I am the border, right? And what's in here is all in me and that's life. And I can, I mean, for me, that picture helps me to be in, well, I would have said to be in non-duality, but you're saying that's not, that's not really yeah. possible. Yeah. So, but yeah. it is, it, I'm just curious, it, it is a, a, a development of moment after moment after moment. Well, let me just go prior to that. See, the idea of being in non-duality also verifies another idea that you can be out of non-duality. Oh, yeah. That's not yeah. so. So there's no yeah. you can be non-duality. There's, non, there's just being let's say, or awareness. There's no you that has that, that quality. Yeah? Yeah? You, I get that. I, I mean, I, I understand that I'm trying to get it with my brain, and, and that's not... What I'm, what I'm saying is that I have experience of it. And, and yes. That's, yes. That's what I'm... And, I mean, there's moments of experience. Well, let's say there's moments of a change in experience. Let's say that. Mm -hmm. It's not a moment of experience. Yeah. There's like a pause to those moments of experience. And then there's something different. It feels different. Yeah. And then right, right. the experiential loop kicks in, and now you think it was another experience, which it wasn't. It wasn't. Okay. I would say that's us. Like when there's a pause of the experiential event, that's us. That's not an experience. Yeah, there's there's these free samples that uh, <laughs> you know experiences are on the surface, honey. Don't you just see that? Yeah. Experience would be on the surface. So let's say you're on the surface and you experience turbulence. Would you experience that turbulence in the depths of the ocean? No. Yeah? Yes? So the experience of the ocean, let's say, is on the surface, da 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 da, da. Then there's a depth. Yeah? Now, you know, the smallness of our head thinks everything is an experience when not everything is, yeah? Right. And what it does is the head will make it an experience after there's been an absence of experience because it wants to reinforce the experiencer. 
Yeah. That's right. That, yeah, I get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The business of two-ness, yeah. right. even concerning it's nothing oneness, is a business of two-ness. That's what it's promoting and selling is the experience of. Yeah. So there's many times during the day where there's things to shut off. It's like a pause. You get it in the morning a lot sometimes. Before you you come out of the dreaming and you're not actually completely in the body experience. So the body that you, the pain you'd feel all day, you're not feeling. Yeah, let's say. And you're in there. That's a that's a state. That's not an experience. Something has been like the pause button has been hit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We what we're calling experiences a lot of the time aren't. Yeah. There's there's conditions called states and beyond that are much different than an experience. But see, we want to have an experience as an experiencer so we'll make we'll make the state of being an experience we're looking for which is impossible because the addiction to the experiencer yeah it does it wants to if you look at the head the head will sign up to a long process of becoming something it doesn't like the idea of being it already yeah because it takes the it takes the the joy or the the desire to experience it away. You can't experience what you are. You do not experience non-duality. There's not two things there. Yeah. That's why it gets dry. Like if you're doing talks of, on this topic, sometimes you'll have a certain type of person come in who's a, let's say a bliss junkie or something like that. Yeah. They're very, very excited about the message, but they leave quickly because what's driving them is, an ex is the addiction of experience. They want to keep getting high in different ways. Yeah. Peak experiences, you know, this and that. This isn't what we're speaking of here. This is like a, it's, let's use the term state as a comparison to experience. It's not a state, but that's what that becomes the new basis. A state overrides the experience. You outshine circumstances and situations. Yeah. Why? Because the, the thrall of an experience is lost because you're not feeding the addiction of the experiencer. Yes. You've gotten weaned off of that mental addiction, so to speak. Maybe it played itself out. Maybe you've been, there's been a convincing something has occurred where what you what where you know a looking is looking beyond experience now <laughs> yeah. yeah you see the it's so much maintenance to try to uh, maintain a certain experience in this place of duality yes it's just unbelievable it's like <laughs> it gets it's forget about it you know what I mean yeah. <laughs> you always have to do more so if you have one level of peak experience there's more a drive for more peak and then there's epiphanies longer epiphanies more you know epiphanies in Bali and some other places it's just it's like <laughs> the mental state's just addicted yeah yeah up to this two-ness why is everyone so addicted to experience? Because it includes a two-ness, yeah? There's the joy of being the experiencer and the experience. This is underneath that. This is not an experience. This is, an un this is a basis underneath that, yeah? The, if you want to call it one or zero, one and zero do not come after two. Two is negated. The fact is zero, yeah? And the sense of two-ness is, is a mirage. It's an activity, yeah? It goes on, but you can travel much lighter through it, or you can be completely engaged with it, as it, so to speak, yeah? That sometimes is not that much, that, that rush running after joy becomes joyless after a while, yeah? It was like when I was getting high on drugs, it turned into an occupation. 
where I wasn't partying anymore. It was a job. I had to get loaded. Yeah. This is what happens. So we're speaking of something completely different than that. Yeah. So what happens is you getting a, a sense of a pause. That's a break from experience. Now, the head will just see it as another experience, but it isn't. Yeah, because the key to that pause was an absence of the experiencer. Yeah. See, an experiencer needs experience needs the experiencer. This state is an absence of that need. Yeah. If you want, I'm using a term state. I don't know what it is, but it's not something that wasn't happening, happens, and now and then not happens with another experience that says it's the experiencer saying it stays longer before and after than the experience. But the, this, this is an experience of Inca and Paul. Yeah. The experiencer is an experience. Yeah. <laughs> In and of itself, yes? Yeah? There's one, there's one inker having the experience, and then there's another inker going over the experience. <laughs> I would see if you... This is simple math. We don't even have to get to the number three. It's just one and two. Yeah. <laughs> Experience, experiencer. Two. Non two. <laughs> what? It? Is it happening? Yes. Is it real? No. Okay. For it for what to be real to be real, does this have to stop? No. You just see it's not real. Yeah? It doesn't have to stop for it every for that which is real to be real. That which is real is real. Doesn't matter what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> this is how the two injects a lot of relevance into the two-ness. All right. There's not going to be any peace without me involved. No. Yeah. It doesn't have to stop at all. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a, you didn't do it, honey. <laughs> Inker is not doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Inker is not thinking of Inca. <laughs> there's just thinking of Inca that's used to imply there's an Inca. Yeah. And then the Inca starts thinking it's thinking of Inca. It's insane. <laughs> so. You know, I, I've been asked to be here, so sometimes I'm going to correct something that's said only because of how I'm seeing it. I don't see it as an experience. Yeah, I don't at all. I know what experiences is, and this ain't an experience. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Thank God. Because if it was, it would come and go. Yeah. Do you want that, really? Some of them, some experiences that I desired to stay here drove me crazy by being here <laughs> after a while. Yes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Sometimes things shut down. The whole moment goes unnoticed. It doesn't get collected. It doesn't get put in a certain parcel or a certain drawer. Yeah, it's not pulled out and gone over. Yeah, there was just a living. Goes, 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 yes. You don't really have much to say or you don't, you haven't acquired much during the day. <laughs> you just went through, yeah. You went through a lot of stuff, but Really, I didn't get any lasting tattoos from any of it. They all wash off, and then the next day I go through other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
death. Now, you want to make a mountain out of a molehill, it's not you. That's making a mountain out of a molehill. Isn't that great news? It's not you. Yeah. You're not doing what the head says you're doing. Yeah. You're not. The head is just saying you're doing it. <laughs> but you're not. Yeah. When the doing happened, there was no need for a you to do it. The doer of it comes later, maybe just a, a second, half a second later, but it comes later than the doing. The doing occurs, and then there's the idea of the doer. There's no doer before doing. <laughs> there's doing, and then the doer is surmised. <laughs> so how are you going to do yourself out of something you're not in? You can't do yourself out of the doer. <laughs> That's a, because the doer isn't the doer. <laughs> it's a, it's an idea. Yeah. It's sort of like <laughs> you put the emblem on the, on the car in the back and then you're, you're looking out the rear view window and, and thinking you're driving. <laughs> you're going nowhere. You're seeing only the past as the course of miracles would say. What do you mean? You're seeing only the past. You don't see shit. <laughs> I'm going to escape from the doer. Hallelujah. You've already been successful. You have escaped. You've never been the doer. <laughs> you want to call it an escape? Great. If it makes you feel better, great. You won. Yes. I just, I can't wait to be awake. Well, wait no more. You're awake. <laughs> you may be awake to Inca all day, and that may seem to be asleep, but the fact is, to seem to be asleep, you must be awake. <laughs> if not, you would ju you're just asleep. There's no seemingly at all. You're just fucking out to lunch. But being awake, you may seemingly be out to lunch. Isn't that good news? Yeah. How long is that lunch going to last? It's going to bleed into a dinner and a breakfast? No. <laughs> this place is seemingly so. This is dreaming. If you're involved with the Course in Miracles, dreaming. Yeah. What can happen in dreaming? Uh, a giving of meaning to things that aren't real. Yeah. Because if they were real, they'd give maybe a meaning to you. But because they're not real, you and I give everything all the meaning it has. Yeah? That's dreaming. It can't get much clearer to, than the act of definition. Yeah? What? Yeah, all right. Recovery, we have this experience a lot. Someone has, an, a, has a story of the worst thing that ever happened to them. For years, they've been planting flowers there and honoring it. And it's been used as an excuse for all these failures and shit like that and rationalization. Then they get sober and they realize the worst thing that ever happened to them was the best thing that ever happened to them because it brought them into recovery. Yeah? What was it? Was it the worst thing and it went through an incredible transformation into the best thing? Or it was nothing and it's still nothing. You saw it as the worst thing, now you see it as the best thing. It's the seeing of it that makes it so. Yes? This is the possibility. We're force fed a very myopic view. We can see that and see um, and have an, uh, a panoramic view will be made available. Yeah. You'll see the making of you. Instead of you making all this shit up, there'll be a making of you by the claiming of all this shit that's made up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there you go. Put it to the test. Yeah. See it. Does the seer come before the seeing? Yeah. Does hearing come before the hearer? You better believe it, it does. Yes. <laughs> Does the, does the positions change? No. It's only the head that says that which comes after, which is the hearer, is before the hearing. 
It's not true. Yeah. This is the problem with satsang. There's a lot of hearing of the message. That's great. And then it gets claimed and now you're the hearer of the message. And now you're fucking at your 800 meeting and not getting the invitation. <laughs> you know, so, but hey, we're persistent. We'll break the back of that imaginary fucking act. Yes, we will. Repetition can be helpful. You keep coming back here, it's going to collapse because it's a house of cards. Yeah? It can with it cannot withstand scrutiny. It just cannot. Yeah? It goes on uh <laughs> You're the light that you're looking to find, to use to see this. You are the light of it. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah. You start before the mental activity. You do. Yeah. You were here before the mental activity says you've arrived. You've been here. You've never gone anywhere. No one can really usurp your house because you never left it. Yeah. This whole like story of... This, uh, the thief has become the master. Can only happen with the, if the master is out to lunch. Yeah. You're not out to lunch, Inka. You're here. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyone else uh, who's ever yes. run in this show? Kathy. Kathy. All right, Kathy, where, where the hell are you? Oh, yeah, I saw you. Hey, there you are. But uh, I don't have the best light. But anyway, um, yeah. I so think you were muted. muted. Could you please repeat your question? I was muted. Okay. I, I didn't <laughs> say my question yet. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Okay. Good. All right. Um, thanks for thanks for that uh, feedback. So I'm just. Um, <laughs> I think I'm hearing there's a there's a, a thinking of hearing happening and then a questioning of well you know who knows about that and then there's this um, desire to ask this question and then it's like well okay so is there a questioner or is it you know just more um, dualistic experience happening so let me get into it <laughs> anyway having having given you the preamble on um, on trying to figure out what exactly this this moment and what this hearing experience is bringing up. So, um, are you familiar with Rupert Spira? No, I've heard of him, but no, not familiar with him. Okay, well, one of the things he says is that um, experience is the activity of awareness. So, okay. Um, and then there's teachings also that point to the fact that we're all addicted to experience and of course thoughts about experience and seeking experience and this is our, our um, dualistic dilemma if you will but my question to you then trying to sort this out is um who wants to sweat now honey and what do you, what do you feel you get if you sort it who wants to sort it out and what does it feel it's going to get if it gets sorted out understanding and so what what the what the question is which I haven't even got to yet then is what is awareness then if awareness is the um, uh, activity I have no idea what is I have it no relative? Idea. okay so relative to let me let me just complete it maybe you're still going to say no no idea but relative to states and um non-dualism what then is awareness is there any uh, uh, integration? Are they different or separate? Is awareness a state? Um, just what no. is a state? Awareness is the context, let's call it that. There's a context. Some people will call it awareness. Some people will call it big M mind. So there's a context. Yes. And then there's dreaming, which is the content, let's say. Yeah. So the context holds whatever's occurring or whatever is occurring isn't affecting the context. So there's, there's no integration of one thing with the other. Yeah. There's a huge permeation, let's say, and then there's shit happening. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yes. Now, I don't believe. Uh, mm, there's dreaming. But dreaming isn't really, it's happening, but it's nothing ever really happened. So I don't see any reality in, in dreaming. I don't see a reality in experience. Yeah. I see that's the interpretation of dreaming from the dreamt is experience. Yeah. But uh, I don't know what is. I just know what's not. Yeah. And that's basically uh, as far as I feel, as far as it needs to go. Yeah. You'd have to be something else to know what you are and you're not. So, yeah, that desire to understand isn't applicable when it comes to what you are. It's not understandable. Yes. So what you need to do, well, I don't know, but you can understand the activities that keep implying you're something that you're not, that would be a good understanding. Yeah. So that you could see it in a different framing instead of just going to the assumption that it's all about you, you're questioning you, the you that it's all about. Yeah. For once, finally. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the audience is in a trance and it's, the audience is what's going to snap out of the trance. Yeah. So you see the mental state, it's little lullaby and you're not asleep anymore to it. Yeah. Yeah. Is okay, that so all right? Yeah. My takeaway on what you just pointed to is that it as soon as the interpretation of experience enters into the equation, that's the dreaming. Otherwise, there's just isness. Well, of course, it's part of the, it's it. We're the initiator. We're the igniter of the whole event. Yes. Yeah, we are the dreaming. As the course would put it. We're the dreaming, yes. but not the interpreter of the dream. Of course, yeah, exactly. We're not the because the, the the interpreter is an interpretation. There is no interpreter. There's an interpretation of the dreaming that there's an interpreter. Yeah. There's no interpreter in the dreaming. There's no noun in the dreaming. There's interpreting. Yeah. And the, inter and the interpreting is implying that there's an interpreter. That's not true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that landed, that landed, thank you. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. There's tons of interpretations. Everyone is almost like, a, if you want to see an image, they're a camera on a tripod, all, all in different locations, seeing things in a different manner. That's all interpreting. Yet each, the singularity of the image, the body, and the identification is that you believe you're the interpreter because everything that's happening, you're usually written into the story that you're, you have something to do with it, which you don't. Yeah, It's been very clearly put tons of times over the ages. Lord Buddha had a very succinct one, supposedly, you know, events happen, deeds are done, but there's no individual doer thereof. There you have it. Yeah. So there's interpreting, but there's no interpreter. The interpreter is part is part of there's an interpreting of the story that includes an interpreter. You don't see that as there's an interpreting before the interpreter. Yes. It's always, yeah. This is what happens. You, something occurs and uh, you don't see more, but there's, well, you do. There's more seeing, there's seeing more and the mental state arises and claims to be the seer of that more. That's what it does. You better be clear about that because if not, you'll be looking from it. Yeah. That's the whole point of the message is to see what you're not 
because that activity is a foot. Yeah. Whatever's happening, that happening is being claimed, not by anyone, but it's going to claim that it's by it by a someone. Yeah. There's just a claiming. And then the, the claimer is made up. Yeah. Without the claiming, there's no claimer. But as soon as the claimer kicks in, it thinks it's doing the claiming. Yeah, this is what happens. If you see it once, really see it like an aha, you'll start seeing it a lot. Yes. Yeah. And it doesn't have to stop for anything else to be available. Yeah, that's a story in and of the interpretive story is that it has the power to stop you from seeing the light or something like that. That's insane. Yeah. So thank you. It's anyone else? Yeah, I got a question, Paul. I think I have a question. So um um so seemingly, um, I have a seemingly a thought drops in, and um, no, a thought drops in. Okay, a thought drops in, and then there's the error comes when I identify that thought as my thought because I'm 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 claiming it to be me yes and, but you're and not claiming it. connie you're not doing that the mental state is doing that what now there's no there's no connie to be found doing that there's a mental state that does it and then it pins it on this idea of connie <laughs> 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 it's a it's a shift in time you see time has us uh the way we keep going to the same trough is because of this belief in linear time yeah we think there was a past and there's this moment that's bookended with a past and a future and then a future yes yes but that blinds us to the mental shenanigans because the mental shenanigans come after the event and then says that you're the one who did the event. <laughs> so it presupposes you before when you actually was made up after. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the language is, you know, I used to use the example and it's not about changing the language. It's about becoming aware of its duplicity or how it's used in this whole activity. Yeah. So I remember I was uh, going back East to do some talks. I hadn't been there in a while. Some guy who knew me from the past came in and he says, Hey, Paul, you're looking good. You're growing your hair. And I go, Oh yeah, I'm growing my hair. Uh, he was balding. I'm going, you're not doing too well with yours. And I said, yeah, I used a certain shampoo and I had some pride about the hair. And I said, we got a, group of us, we grow our hair together every Saturday for three hours, nine to 12. Maybe you should join and, you know, go on and on and on this whole story about being the doer of growing the hair. But all I did was not cut it. Yes. That's all really. So this is what happens. Things are happening. And yet we then there's a story written about it. And then we in, digest that story or ingest it. And uh, there you go. Shit gets ignited. <laughs> because the head's telling us we have a lot to do with a lot of shit we have nothing to do with. Really, literally. Eh? So the thought drops in. Yeah. And there's nobody. There's There seems to be something that wants to claim it, but that's not uh yes you can see that so obviously you're not the claimant 
if you're seeing the claiming, yeah, you're you're something other than what it's implying. You're seeing the claiming, yeah. Right. So you see, you see what is before the feeling of being the claimer. You see the claiming, and then the claimer is just made up. Uh, it's yeah, yeah. It's, it's what you've been saying. It's inferred there. Yes, more than that, it's believed. It's just yes. taken for granted. It's just completely. Uh, we don't look. We don't see. Yeah. Yes. Right. We don't see. And it's sort of like when the fish gets caught, as soon as it takes the bait, it feels like a historical fish. So now when you see something, you feel like you've been the seer of thousands of things. Yes. So it 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 produces a momentum in, in its its use of time to sort of uh, like cement us in a position of being the doer and the thinker and the feeler, yes? With the only hopes of, it, you know, of real relief is to get out of the thought. So they get out of that, whatever. And uh, it's sort of like, a, almost like a controlled laboratory experiment where the rat doesn't even have eight hallways. It got one. It just funnels you into wanting to get out of what you're not in <laughs> all day and shit. Yeah. Yeah. I want to, I want to stop. I don't want to be the thinker of the thoughts. Hallelujah. You're not. <laughs> yeah. That's the point. I probably take, if these weren't my thoughts, I'd be able to travel lighter with them. Well, they're not your thoughts. <laughs> there you go. So what you're putting off as a future impossibility is is a is a present possibility yeah so <clears throat> sorry if i'm belaboring the point but <clears throat> the thought drops in yeah and there's yeah. a rec and there's a recognition uh of a desire to claim it but actually um all there is is a recognition well there let's say there's let's call it awareness or whatever yeah so there's a thought there's an awareness of the thought, and then the thought is used to to imply the thinker. You right. you're aware of that also. You can see that. Yeah. Yes. If you see that, it gives you a, a strong possibility that you're not the thinker. When you see <laughs> the, the pointing at this imaginary thing, that you have to step and be that. And if you if you decline then it's just pointing into empty space so to speak yeah so you catch the emperor without any clothes on you okay. see the you see the thievery right at, at you know in present tense you 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 catch the robbing of the bank during the robbing not after the robbing yeah you see the claiming right yeah, and something with the right understanding, which I feel is non-duality, that understanding matched with the seeing of it can lead you to another idea or another possibility. Not the one you're appointed at or appointed by the mental state. Yeah. Okay. And I think mm -hmm. uh, if you work from there or you live from there, there would be a traveling lighter in this experience of being Connie and Paul and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, Rhoda has a question. Oh, and we have five minutes. Hey, Paul. It can't be a five minute question, honey. I'll try not. I will definitely right. try not. So I can feel I can feel this desire to to truly understand this with the mind. So let me just say what's coming out. What I keep noticing is there's these systematic responses that keep happening over and, yes. over, and over and over and over and over and over and over and over. And then there's yeah. identifying as those responses happening 
Yes. And it happens so quick that you almost can't even see it. But when you see it, you see that it's happening and it's not you. Yes. That almost can be an eternity in a way though. Yeah. Once when you catch it a few times, there's uh, the gap gets seemingly longer, yeah. So there's this concept that comes in that says, well, am I a victim? But that can't, that can't even be remotely true. Holy cow, what is that? Yes. And the head will still play the victim. But mm -hmm. now uh, the interest and attention that would animate it, that victimhood has been, uh, re, it's been redirected, so to speak. Yes? Yeah. So even the, the desire, so having seen it, having having, rec having some recognition that, of how the system is happening. Yeah. The grasping then to try to, I don't know, there's a sense of grasping that, that keeps happening. Like, like I got a hold, like there's something, someone or something yeah. got to hold on to it. That's going to be, that has a finite term okay. of usage. Yeah. So it will, it will, that tributary will somewhat dry out. Yes. Which is great. So it'll exhaust itself by the grasping. Yeah. When it only gets air after a while, you're left with the device of grasping and then you see something. Yeah. 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 That's the beauty of non-duality. There's nothing to hold on to. So you're left with those devices that you usually are driven to an engagement by you're left with your own devices and you see them as not yours. Yeah. Yeah. It has value. I feel. Yeah. Okay. It's going to run out, babe. You can't lose. You're the, you're on, you're on the infinite infinity team. You cannot be beaten by the finite uh, competitors. Yeah. Well, as the course says, you know, you're, the attack thoughts are attacking your invulnerability. Yeah. So. So it can't yeah. possibly be that which thinks it is not it. Yeah, you can't actually, you know, you are something already or nothing already. So you're busily being that. There's, that's not going to be anything else in a way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It allows everything else to come and go, so to speak. It gives light. What is, you know, what is life to, to ideas and appearances, but interest and attention? Yes. Yeah. Uh, they appearances don't have a life of their own. They don't. Yes. They're appearances. Yeah. They're like plays of light. Yeah. But what gives them a life is attention and interest. That seems to be, we seem to be the lighthouse of that diagram. Yeah. Not as Paul, but as an activity, mm -hmm. not as a lighthouse, but as the lighthousing. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that, uh, that lighthouse uh, can move from one to another on a profound level where the movement is uh, on a basis level, you know, a fundamental shift where uh you're not taking self so seriously so to speak as we say in recovery yeah perfect so yeah the grasping hey it does that a lot i see it a lot all day you know it's just fucking it's sort of like uh it used to be out in the wild now it's like a lab animal you know it's like in, <laughs> it's in the corners you know clawing making something up <laughs> <laughs> but hey, I'm just uh, 
I'm just sharing what was revealed, you know, with uh, with the hope that they, this can be made into a temporary pair of glasses so that you can see the misunderstandings, yeah? These aren't, they aren't there to replace your eyes, but we're not getting to your eyes. You already have a pair of glasses, so we've got to replace those glasses with another pair, and then hopefully you'll get to the eyes, yeah? Perfect. The real, the vision, which doesn't need any assistance or help, yeah? But right now, a lot of us, we need an understanding to sort of uh, flesh out the misunderstanding. So, yes, almost as if, like we have a thing in AA, fear is like a fabric that runs through the existence of someone's life. So let's say the fabric of my existence was brown and then fear was brown. It'd be very difficult to, to discriminate the fear to the rest of the fabric, yeah? But this is sort of putting, uh, you know, tinting it yellow. So now you can see the yellow because it's in it's stark contrast to all the brown. Yeah. And so, wow, you pull that and see what happens. Yeah. The whole sweater doesn't fall apart. It can be removed or it can be uh, underemphasized and everything will work fine. <laughs> yeah. It's just, yeah. Yeah. So hopefully the understanding is of the, of duality to lead to there isn't duality, really. It's an activity that we're completely representing and engaged as and, but not of, yeah, which is nice. So we're not going to convince a binary system not to be binary. It doesn't work that way. You just have to see the failure failure of the system. You can't know uh, what you are. You are it, yeah. The duality gives you this desire to know and experience and and have peak experiences of what I am. That's what it's 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 dangling as as the bling of spirituality. But in fact, it's not true because you're not an experience, nor are you an experiencer. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we're way beyond that. And I have no idea because it's indescribable, incomprehensible. It's, you know, it's not a, it's above our pay scale. So, but we can, with the light that's, that is of us, see what we used to look from. Yeah. Yeah. We just, we, we took a rest on something and we've become melded with the chair, so to speak. Yeah. So like those movies where the guy gets up and the chair gets up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And we, you, you call you a chair person or something. No. Yeah, there's a bondage between two things. Yeah. The subjective and the objective. Yeah. And they're both held. They're both held as an object. It's a mind boggling. Yeah. So. Yeah. Thanks, Rhoda. Thank you. I think, uh, yeah. And uh, I think that's it for five minutes. Yeah. I can, I can say hello and goodbye, hopefully. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Connie, always a pleasure to see Connie. Now my story, Connie dropped in. Yeah. I became aware of Connie. It brought a smile to my face. No more further investigation is necessary, is it? No. Thank you, Connie. We got Eileen. Yeah. Eileen dropped in. I noticed Eileen. Yeah. Feel pretty good about seeing Eileen. There you go. I see Michael Stacy. Thoughts arise. Michael, do not talk to Amelia about any dog unions. Yes. With the, with the re end result as puppies, even though I will not call them my puppies, they'll be puppies nonetheless. So, all right. And we got uh, iPad. That's not iPad. I think it's Steward, right? Steward from Down Under. 
Yes. We'll have to talk one day, Stuart, about the Academy. Yeah, yeah. We got our great hostess. Here she is, Saina. Does a great job. This wouldn't be happening without her. I'm going to speed up, Saina. I'm going to make it faster. Inca. Always a pleasure, Inca. Kerry. Now, Inca is like, you're like a childlike person for me because Inca would be a name I'd love to have as a kid. Inca. Yeah. But in New York, everyone, always a Y gets put on it. It would be Inky. See, there's no Paul, there's Paulie, there's Tony, there's Billy, there's Bobby. Yeah, there's no Bobs, no Anthonys, no. It's just a lot of wives. All right, we got Kerry. There he is. Yeah. Now, Kerry, back in New York, would, be, would have to be concerned about running into Inky because Inky may want to take Kerry's lunch money. <laughs> hey now, Inky, hey now. Inky's got some more friends around. So <laughs> we got Judy George. Nice to see you, Judy. Stick in there, honey. All the heavy lifting is over, honey. Yes? Yeah. Yeah. Rhonda. Rhoda. My, my, uh, my voice message. Thank you. And so much more. Really. We got George. George has spoken. And he may in the future. Just to remind George. We got Don O. I'm very happy to see Don. Don O'Connor. I, I ran into a lot of O'Connors in New York. I mean, someone's trying to call me. All right, I better speed this up. She's getting uh, nervous, Sina. I like to do this on purpose, I think. We got Kathy. Nice to see Kathy. Jacqueline, yes. Uh, we've got Angie. There she is, one of my favorite folks. We've got, oh, they're flying all over now. We've got Brahmi. Woohoo! Brahmi. Yes, always a pleasure, Brahmi. Yeah. Becky, I just lost Becky. She was there, now she's gone. There she is. Nice to meet you, Becky. Hey, Paul, I'm yeah. coming to get you. I'll be in touch. What? Oh, yeah. Call me. You have my phone number? No, but I'll get it. I'll send you an email and I'll get it from you. All right. Thank you. Yes, definitely. We got Ann B. Nice to see or not see Ann. We got Donate Here is still here. Yeah. It's. I don't see it given anything. Donate. It's got a sense of entitlement, really. Incredible. Uh, we got some others. I can't tell what they are. Not names, really. Hey, thank you so much, Sina. Do we get under the time? <laughs> time ain't that important. <laughs> yes. We're gonna the next the next workshop is timelessness, but we gotta hurry up. It starts at five thirty. Don't see the irony in it. All right. See you guys. Thank you, everyone. Thanks.